Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the Mario Kart Home... Nope. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. I said that right, yes. The Mario Kart, <laughs> which is essentially a kart with a camera uh, that connects to your Switch. So you get a sort of augmented reality Mario Kart and you can create your own courses and drive around your house. Which uh, sounds pretty awesome, so I'm going to open it up and have a look. Okay, so you get a leaflet telling you to download the software, which is free uh, from the Nintendo Store on your Switch. You get a USB-C charging cable, quite a short one. You then get the cart. Uh, clearly I got the Mario version. Uh, and then you get the pieces of track that enables you to set up the course. So it's essentially a bunch of a bunch of cardboard. <laughs> As you can see, you get the arrow markers. Uh, you get two of those, and then you get four um, gates. Okay, and that is it. So let's get the course set up, and I'll let you know what I think. I stream on Twitch Monday to Thursday and occasionally at the weekends, so please stop by if you have any questions about Mario Kart Home Circuit or if you just want to chat about games in general. The details are on the screen. Now that we've seen how to set things up, let's take a closer look at the cart. Um, essentially it is a fairly robust piece of plastic, I've bashed it into a few things and it hasn't picked up any damage and seems like it would be able to withstand quite a lot of knocks. As you can see, the camera sits at the back, there is an on and connect button here, and then the charging port is under this little flap here on the side. And that is essentially it. So what is Mario Kart Live Home Circuit? Essentially, it enables you to create Mario Kart courses in your house using cardboard gates, the cart, and your switch. The cart sends the camera feed to your Switch so you see through the camera as you drive around your created tracks. Once you've created your track, the game will ask you to map it out as shown here. You can then use your created course in either the Grand Prix, Cup Races, Time Trials or Local Multiplayer. There is also a multiplayer mode, but each player will need a Switch, a cart pack, and a copy of the software. Now the software is free, but playing multiplayer is clearly prohibitively expensive, given that you will need to spend at least £300, or about $300 per person to play. The game will allow you to play up to four players, but at the moment there are only two cart varieties, and those are Mario and Luigi. If you don't have any friends to play with, or you can't afford multiple switches and Mario Kart packs, then you will be playing against AI or time trials. As with every Mario Kart, there are a number of cups. Each cup contains a number of races, and you can race each cup at various different speeds. In Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, these are 50, 100, 150, and 200 cc. If you hang around to the end of the video, I've included a quick bonus speed test section where I race the cart across a 3 meter course at the various speeds to see how quickly the cart crosses the line. Although there are a number of courses within each cup, the actual courses you will be playing are the courses you create yourself. You do have the ability to change the course between each race, but in reality, bearing in mind that it does take several minutes to create a new course, you'll probably find yourself using the same course for a number of races and potentially a number of cups. Now to overcome the lack of variety in the courses, the game does change certain things for each race. So some courses will overlay visual effects, others will change the weather effects which will affect the way your cart handles and performs. As an example, some courses have high wind that will blow your cart off track and you find yourself struggling to fight against the wind. Other courses you'll crash it into ice blocks and find that your wheels lock up and the cart will skid forward. This does help by adding a level of variety to your courses even when you're sticking with the same course. Unfortunately there isn't a great deal of depth in the overlays, the environments or the weather conditions and multiple courses will share similar environments and weather types. To add some additional variety you can unlock customization options for your character, or your cart and your horn as well as unlocking environments and radio stations. 
to create your own custom track rules. If you're used to playing Mario Kart games, then the physical kart handles exactly as you'd expect. The kart will handle best on hard, flat surfaces. It still manages on carpet, however if your carpet is fairly thick, it may struggle at times, especially in the lower speeds. You have to bear in mind that the kart is rear wheel drive and therefore may struggle to get over obstacles or transitions in flooring unless you're going at full speed or using some of the higher speed settings. The claimed battery life of the cart is about 90 minutes and it should take between 3 and 4 hours to charge fully. From my testing I found that you do get around 90 minutes um, of battery life out of the cart, which seems about right for any individual gaming session. As with every Mario Kart game you can pick up power-ups and items. Mario Kart Home Circuit includes many of the series staples, such as red and blue shells, mushrooms, stars, bombs and banana skins. These items will affect how the physical cart handles, so if you use a mushroom your cart speed will increase temporarily, and if you get hit with a shell your cart will come to a stop. In terms of game length, this will very much depend on the size of your tracks. If you only have the space for short tracks, you may find that you've completed all the cups at all the speeds within a few hours. However, there are potentially an unlimited number of course variants because you create them yourself and so are only limited by space and your imagination. And this is really where the game's depth and variety comes from. The camera on the cart is of limited resolution, which does mean that in low light conditions it can be difficult to see on the screen. This is amplified when you're playing from the TV rather than your Switch. Additionally, some of the weather effects can cloud the screen slightly and it makes it slightly difficult because the screen effect took up a little bit too much space. Now, although you won't be able to play it multiplayer unless you've got multiple switches and multiple carts, you can get involved in the course creation and additionally, it's quite fun just to watch the cart whizzing around the living room. So potentially there's quite a lot of involvement and engagement even if you're not actually playing. Additionally, at the higher speeds, I found it quite difficult to control the cart even on the slightly larger courses that I was building. I also wanted to mention that I did have a couple of issues with latency where the camera input wouldn't come through to the switch. Luckily this only happened on a few occasions, but when it does happen, it does make playing very difficult. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit does feel a little bit like Mario Kart 8 Lite, it doesn't have a huge amount of content, and at 90 to 100 pounds or 90 to 100 dollars, it does feel a little steep. Although you do have to bear in mind that you are getting the physical cart and the various gates and bits of cardboard, as well as the software, which although is free, you can't use it unless you own the cart. So if you're looking for the ultimate Mario Kart experience, then I would recommend you stick with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. However, if you already own Mario Kart 8 or you're looking for ways to create your own Mario Kart courses, then Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is a great choice. Given that the game is fairly limited, it does feel a little bit like a gimmick. However, creating the courses is really fun and whizzing around your living room on your Switch is pretty exhilarating. And therefore, I am giving this 7 out of 10. I think it would have scored higher if the game had a little bit more depth or if the price was a little bit lower. Is there enough to keep you entertained if you already own Mario Kart 8? I would say so. You have to bear in mind that you will get the most out of the game if you enjoy building courses and you will need the time and the space to build something more intricate. One thing I also wanted to mention was the fact that your course is somewhat limited by the fact that you only have four gates. Now you can't increase the number of gates even if you buy the additional Luigi pack although you can add additional arrow markers. Now, if you find that you've damaged your gates or your arrow markers, or you'd like to print off additional arrow markers, then the Nintendo Japan website has a PDF of all the gates and the arrows, and I've put a link to that PDF in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, then please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to see more videos from me. As promised, here's that speed test.